Alrighty, I'm back at it, people. Bit of a hiatus due to the fact of, um, well, technical issues and stuff, in case you didn't see it before. Um, whoa! Okay, cool. Up. Ow. Um, also, I'm suffering a bit of a headache right now, so it's gonna be fun to, well, play the game. Oh, balls. And, well, be me. At the same time. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you can't stop me. Anyway, so... What am I doing? Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna go find the... other tri... well, the other Tomb of the Guardian. I don't know if we got the proper Tomb of the Guardian last time, but... I'll wail on some of these guys. I'm taking them there. Ah, fat ass drop. Yeah. Um, also, as you can remember from what I was talking about last time, I went to see, what is it, uh, X-Men Days of Future Past. I liked it. It was nice. It wasn't exactly what you call the best movie, but at the same time, it's one what you call a bad movie. It was serviceable, like a better word. Oh, I stuffed it. Wait, no, I can still do this. Still got this. But yeah. Next been Days of Future Past, one of the the most complex uh, storylines I've said before, and was handled rather well. Um, still technically took from the original. Oh, it's doing barrels. <laughs> took from the original script what it wanted to do and everything, and just ran from there. Oh, hello. I kind of broke it. The thing is kind of stuck there. I cannot be stuck with that. Move. Let's get you out. Drop it down there, get the knight up. But yeah, kind of really... <laughs> the look, look, look at those holding abilities. And boom! Just kick through there. No, 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 don't want to lose it. That works as well. Um, but yeah, like the movie. Um, however, there is a tying game that goes with it. On the, um... I'm not sure if it goes on the Android market, but I know it's on iOS. Upon which it's a bit more truer to the story and everything. The actual 90s comic story. And yeah, apparently it's not so bad. Which is actually a fairly big statement, considering the fact that movie tying games are not that great. And be prepared for me to rat now. Movie tying games tend to have the issue upon which they rush down to cash in with the movie. Like, whoop! It's meant to time properly and everything, and they're meant to get it in good time with what the... Uh, all so many of these guys uh, meant to cash in uh, when the movie comes out, and it's meant to be serviceable, so that way they can make the maximum amount of money. That also being said, I'll just say this right now, most, if not all, are terrible. Uh, for, but there has been some ex um, exemptions, I have not seen all of them. I have seen one in particular, I believe that is... Uh, is there anything down here that I can get? Nothing! Anyway, back to the top and back to what I was saying. There was one exemption to the rule, and that was the X-Men Origins video game. The reason why that was good is because of the fact of what I've heard. It, um... The story behind the X-Men Origins video game is that... I'll move across to here. Can I do that? Nope. I can now pick up large objects only. So I can pick up large objects and stuff. Good E. Last minute. Hmm. Alright, people, let's be creative. Um, but yeah, the reason why the X-Men Origins Wolverine game was actually pretty good was because of the fact that they were already in the process of making the Wolverine video game. Along came X-Men Origins Wolverine. What? How's that? Okay. How's that a charge? I know. Um, the video game is already coming out, so guess what? You can still work with it. And 
make a good game out of it. Let's tie it in with the movie. It was actually rather good from what I've been told. Once again, I have not played the video game. But the premise was they were making the bit at Wolverine game because they were catching in probably on the Ace Man movies, probably something else, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, it was actually serviceable. Uh, let's roly poly along with this. Come on, swing along. Here we go. But then came along the X Men Origins Wolverine movie. So, why not? Let's make a movie uh, tie into the movie that was coming up. Mm, mm, decent movie, but not exactly great because of the fact that. Whoa! You cheeky little bastard. Sneaky fucking Russian. Uh, wait, no. Hold on, I'm gonna do this. I'm awesome and stuff. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Didn't get this before when I was doing my original taping and everything. But that. Ooh, am I in a sacrifice? What's that do? Um. Since you barely ever do anything, so. That's cool. Um, I was getting along here. Um, the they tied it in with the movie. Was was, was I was saying that yet? Yeah, they tied it in with the movie and everything was shiny, shiny, happy family. What's down the bottom here? Nothing. Um, but yeah, it tied in well. It was a great um, game. Terrible movie. I didn't think it could have been. The Wolverine origin story could have been handled a lot better. I believe everyone could agree with me on that. Hey, look, stuff like I'm going around. But I want to get back to the point of uh, what is it? Um, movies and video games. Not exactly have had the best relationship. Like, sure, you can. Oh. Okay, I'll fix that up in a minute. Um, not exactly having the best relationship. Now let's put it in perspective. Going, uh, what is it? Movies to video games, and when I can actually swing. Okay. Swing, swing, swing. Come on, I had it before and everything, and now I'm just getting really pissed that I can't nail it again. Um, whilst I'm making blocks, I'll go back onto the points that I was getting at. Um, movies and video games have not had the best relationship going from movies to video games. Um, you can't get it all together because when they, as I said, when they do come out, they tend to be rushed, very rushed. Development time is like considered like a bee's dick and it's depressing because you can actually make a great game if you actually think about it if they um was it um i've got the movie coming up and everything they want to make a game do we want to make a game yes we want to make a game how, how are we going to make the game um let's just see how the movie pans out no that's not a good idea let's actually um make some make like a side thing to it and then put it in like the Amazing Spider-Man 2 video game, apparently that was a deliberate... <laughs> that didn't work. That was a del deliberate... Uh, yes, I got up there. Cool. Deliberate side story to the main one. However, they still threw uh, ties to the actual movie. I'm talking from there. Break stuff, break stuff. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Come on! Oh god, I hate bats. Bats in this game is so annoying. But yeah, um... Instead of looking at what could be made from the um, movie into the base of a video game, they don't really see what can be done. And that's kind of sad, because you can make a decent video game based off some of the heroes. Like, one thing I saw was, um... In when the Avengers came out, they actually had a tie-in video game come along. It's based on Connect, and it looks. No. They had a time video game which actually looked 
very nice. Unfortunately, I have not heard anything since then. I don't know if it did rock well, shit, or if it just completely bombed at the um, game sales and nobody ever, you know, talks of it again. Which is very, once again, very friggin' depressing. Um, uh, can I get that? I don't know, can I get that? Is there anything down here that I can use? You'll actually need to bring across the wooden square that I was using before. I don't know, I don't know anymore. As I said, I've got a freaking headache. Well, I've had some pattern before, so hopefully, you know, it'll ease off my headache and I'll be flying, but fingers crossed, people, so I can keep focus here. Oh, cool. Checkpoint. That's cool. I'll get you back to health. Um, what am I doing here? Let's have a look at the level. That's pretty right. Just wait for everybody to come get me. What? Oh, bullshit. I actually got to deal with your shit? Come on. Come on man. Seriously, come on, man. I'm trying to friggin' think, and I've got to deal with these fucking things. Oh, wait. Health. Yay. Health. I like health. Ugh. Oh, balls. That's right. No, I can't swim in this game. He sinks like a ton of shit. Come buddy. Can't do this. Yeah, I've kind of gone a bit muse whilst I'm trying to deal with all this. I want to talk, but i got to deal with these fuckers. Bang. We done? Uh, we done. I think we're done. Alright. Alright, shall I go back onto the video games with movies, or shall I move on to movie... Oh, wait, no. Movies with video games, or should I move on to video games with movies? That is a big input maybe statement right there. Like for example, you've got the case of can a video game be a cinematic experience? Excuse me whilst I'm trying to jump off the water here. Up, 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 up. Um, for example, in case in points, um, all the quantic dream things, aka the David Cage Loosely tied events based on what he believes the world should act like. It is really, really, really messed up. Like for example, um, all the all these feministic uh, viewpoints are kind of skewed in the fact that most of these uh, women in the games tend to end up in really, really, really awkward love scenes. Even worse, rape scenes, like um, Beyond, Two, uh, Beyond Two Souls. Go check it out. You'll understand what I mean when, it, when you get around to it. But yeah, it's not impossible for a game to be a cinematic experience, but at the same time, it's very difficult to actually um, grasp it. Like, how it's meant to happen. Can I do this right? Nope, I'm just dropping it down this way. Um, as I said, really hard to grasp the fact of what kind of cinematic. Yeah, come on, up we go. It's like a little. What is those things? I don't know what those presents are. I'll get back to them a bit later. Um. Eat it! Eat it, bats! Oh, I'm dipping bats. A little bit straight on the uh, Batman. Um, but yeah, it's not impossible to give a same cinematic experience in a video game as you would a movie. But it is still reasonably difficult. As proven by Quantic Dreams, but then again, Quantic Dreams handles um, the interactive experiences 
well as, well, lack of better terms, a uh, cat would handle the fine china, or a bull. Yes, I'm quoting a bit of uh, Yarty there. Eh? Well, balls, I'm in the I'm in the lava pit. Lava pit hurts. Yeah, it's if someone if a actual competent producer would um, take up the mantle of making a cinematic video game, it would be good. Otherwise, we got to deal with just. Diluted David Cage fantasies. That also being said, let's go to the other point of view of video games being made into movies. Only good thing, I, only good one I've seen so far would probably be um, the first Resident Evil movie. The rest of the Resident Evil movies have been, lack of a better word, a bit lackluster. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, defeated. Could be a lot better, but Fear yeah. had found a comfortable place in our heroes' hearts. Deeply troubled, their minds began to fill with woe. The night had not eaten in many hours, and the scent of meat had not made it any easier. The thief started to worry if she would ever be free again. And the wizard... Well, he was concerned that they would never find the other artifacts to break the trine's spell. Though truth be told, he didn't mind having some company but stuck with him for more than an hour. So, let's see. The knight's concerned about his stomach. The... What is it? Thief is concerned about her solidarity and... The... Wizard is just concerned about, you know... Saying that he can solve the shit and be awesome. Fear not, I shall lead the way. I wish there was more light. Yep, light would be lovely. I think it's around this point I got the. Oh, what is it? The flame sword. But then again, I have been spending my points a bit uh, vicariously. I'm not actually saving stuff enough. You can bird. I hope you get. Now then. Well, that works. And I uh, hate shields. Shields are so annoying. Only I am allowed to use shields. So bugger off. Oh. Bang! Double arrow to knees. What do I get here? Fibo! Whoa! Fibo's good. I remember, right? Oh, yeah. This darkness is unbearable. I've seen wizards light torches with fireballs. Can you? But fireballs? Then they never work. It's a waste of time. I should have known. I can light the torches with fire arrows. I could light the torches too. So they're gonna fight, you know, a fire sword. Get off my, get off my stuff, boy. I'm saying it again. Ah, yeah. Jump. We good? We good. Let's break everything. Move this across this way. And well, let's do the fire barrel trick. Boom. Two. Yeah, that actually isn't too bad of a fire arrow trick. All right, balls. Got stuff to deal with. More importantly, these guys with flame torches. Um. Whilst I'm dealing with everybody, you know, swinging their fists at me, let's get back to the point of video games being made into movies. Now, as I said before, what was it? Um. The only one that I'd really consider good would be the first Resident Evil movie. After that, started started going down the hill. Yes, I did a quite a good nostalgic trip in what is it, um, Resident Evil 2 with all of those characters, bring out Nemesis, blah blah blah, and even in I think it's four 
that they no wait no it was f <laughs> yes it was four that they brought in what's it uh, what's his name Chris uh, I can't even remember his name. Yes, yeah, so they brought in Chris, and in five they brought in what's his name? Um, Leon. And I think Ada Wong was brought in in five. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. I have got the vaguest of memories on that thing. But anyway, um, outside of um, first one, it just kind of went downhill from there. And it's disappointing, you could have made a nice zombie movie out of that one. Instead, they just did fan pen service, which kind of, uh, long story short, is not a good idea. And then there's also the Silent Hill movie, which was alright, but once again, I'd like to say the first... Let's flip this. No, flip this. I don't know what the point of that was, but let's roll with it. Um, the Silent Hill movie was alright. Then again, it kind of ma mashed everything together and didn't really understand what the video game was about. The video game was about um, pretty much the... Whoa, so that's why that had to drop there. So I don't need you any further. The video game was pretty much about... Oh, balls have got a lot of stuff here to deal with. Little dish. Come on. Okay, that's that down. Anyway, getting back to the point that I was making about the um, Silent Hill m movie, it kind of missed the point of what is it? Um, what the video game was trying to achieve. The video game was trying to achieve something called what is it? Um, retribution for the character. In what is it? Silent Hill One. It was just pretty much scary kids in the school and everything. Silent Hill Two pretty much took it even better because of the fact that uh, the main character had some issues with his wife and portrayed it very well in the game. Now, Silent Hill Three was eh, Silent Hill um, Homecoming. Pretty much mimicked the movie. Upon which was a very bad idea because, as I said, the movie kind of missed the point of the video game. And even worse, um, they decided let's mi mimic the video game to the point of taking every other character, um, every other bad guy in the um, character series and just slap him with this dude because of the fact that we want to and fan service, that's how. Like, Py Pyramid Head shows up and he's. What is it? He just stand there and look, looks at the dude, then buggers off afterwards. No other reason. I feel even sadder for the fact that in the video game, apparently, I mean the movie, apparently he's like judge, jury, and execution into everything, not a representation of X character's um, issues. Ah, oh, balls. Get out of my way, Pat. Oh, that works. Seriously, you guys are being annoying. But yeah. It was kind of really mishandled, and then there was the sequel to that. Don't even get me started on the sequel to that. Maybe. This is fine, that much. That much. Quite a sizable bit. But yeah. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna. Not really hurt as much as I first thought. But yeah. In the movie. He kind of stumbled a bit, and the second one, second one was bad. Because apparently, they made, uh, I haven't seen the movie, but apparently, they made Pyramid Head into like a Pokemon. I'm not kidding. They summoned him into battle to do again, do battle against another evil that was there in the Silent Hill universe. I don't know the full story, it just seemed bad. They took fan service and they kind of screwed it the pooch with it. No. Excuse me, I'm just going to wait on this guy whilst I think about some more. And then there is Yule Ball. From what I heard, he likes taking, um, what is it? 
video games and making them into movies, but he does it so badly. Like, go watch the trailer for his Far Cry movie, or Blood Rain for that matter, I don't really care any of his trailers. He is bad at it. He's so goddamn bad. <sighs> hate you, you ball. I don't know if he's done any other work, like if he started to try and do any other video game work, but in all honesty, he deserves a punch in the face for deciding to take the most liberal um, movements on video game franchises into movies and botching them as hard as he can freaking well get. Ah, oh, balls. Um, I'm trying to think what else can I talk about here. Um, let's go on the point of com uh, superhero movies. I like to talk about that. I'm, I am a um, superhero fan. I'm also a big comic book fan. More Marvel than I am DC, because of the fact that Marvel at least has the balls to turn around and say, we're going to kill off our characters and we're going to at least try to stick to it. Whereas in DC, they tend to be kind of all over the freaking shop with it. And their storylines also tend to be terrible. But, nonetheless, we'll leave that for later. Uh, excuse me, what's the intro? That's it. The superhero movie franchise did quite well when the, when the Marvel Cinematic Universe started picking up pace and they knew what the hell they were doing with it. Like seriously, they did a wise idea of getting Joss Whedon in. Not for the fact that he's, I don't know, the nerd um, messiah somehow, but more the fact that who knows what he does with comics. When Buffy got cancelled, Buffy was turned into a, um, what's it, a comic book uh, series upon which he could just do whatever he wanted with it. He didn't have to, he didn't have to worry about, uh, what is it, um, Juices saying, what is it, um, TV exec saying no, play it safe if there's ratty rah, all that other crap. He could just go absolutely sparse, like I am doing here with the knights. He could just have fun with everything. And then when they turned around and said, yeah, let's get him in for um, Marvel's The Avengers. It was a wise idea because he worked on, uh, what is it, um, X-Men once before, and I read the comics and that. That's pretty good. He did pretty good with um, the group dynamic and making it work into um, a good storyline. You know the uh, X-Men 3 The Last Stand movie? They did a terrible version of what was a good Whedon storyline. It was very nicely played out on A Mutant Cure. Even better part was... Um, what was it? Um, Given the, uh, what is it, um, what is it, the mutants in the, uh, oh, i got, got to stay on this pass because I do this wrong, I'm going to die here. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> he, he gave the mutants a proper dilemma upon which had to be sorted out when the cure came about. And even better is how he handled uh, bringing in, uh, bringing back a X-Man from the dead. Then again, <sighs> once again, doing that is just kind of a cheap move. Sorry to say, people, but yeah, it is very cheap to do that. In what is it? Oh, I'll flip you up and over. Let's start with that. Oh, no, 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 no. Up, up. Up, oh, beautiful. But yeah, do, doing the resurrect from dead thing can be a bad idea. However, he handled it tastefully, and I'm not doing this for well. Balls, back to life. Um, he handled it very tastefully about what he was going to do when he resurrected that X-Man. And even better is the character dilemmas upon when said X-Man... Oh, there's a chest here? Yes, I didn't know this. What is it? Found braces. What's the braces do? Better be for... Reduces damage of sh shots hitting arms. 
I don't get that, but okay, whatever. Um, going back to what I was talking about, um, he handled it very well, bringing back this person from the dead. Back up. Um, handle this person very, uh, handle the situation, resurrecting this person back from the dead very well. Oopsie. <laughs> And also brought along the proper dilemmas and of thought mechanics upon which someone. Whoa! Okay. Oh, another boss fight! Come, buddy. So, what I gotta pretty much do is jump up. That? Did not last long. Out of here. We're close to the dungeons. This is the way to the castle. Ah! The castle must have food. On to the castle. <laughs> so for some unreason reason, magic wall there. Um, get back to what I was. Oh yes, that reminds me. Don't do that yet. Skill shot this. Hang on there. No, I cannot. Oh, I can. I can see that. But yeah, once again, going back to the point of Joss Whedon being directing the Avengers movie, he knew how to handle uh, comic book characters and uh, what is it? How they how they should work in group dynamics. He does well with group dynamic situations. He knows how to interact people properly and he does so well too. You look at Buffy, you look at um, Dollhouse, you look at Angel, you look at pretty much any of these series, he does great jobs there. And then when he came along to what is it, um I'll stop it. Our heroes entered the castle through the dungeons. The knight thought back to his childhood days and the excitement the dark corridors had provided back when the spiders were small and the bones were piled neatly in the corners. So he's still a pussy bitch for some other reason. Um, but yeah, going on the point of Joss Whedon, he knows group dynamics, and that's the better part. This place gives me the chills. It's a dungeon. That's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> Fear not. I have my sword and my cape. <laughs> I am the king of the castle. I shall crush all my enemies and lead my army to victory. We are invincible. <laughs> Alright, so that's not working as well as per slot. Let's move you up. Oh, speed. I'll get back to what I was saying about. Oh, jeez, up. So can do this. Yep. Nail it. Once again, going back upon the Joss win point. Um, he knew what he was doing with group dynamics, and he did a well job of understanding. There's, there was going to be a flaw upon. Putting all those people together in a group situation. So, how'd you overcome it? You'd put them at a point where they have to work together and overcome their differences. Ow, let's still burn the tushy. And the better part, he did it well! Everything just worked, and the plotline didn't have to be overly complex upon which to make everything work. Everything just worked because everybody worked well together. I don't think that's what, um, what's her, what's her name? Uh, friggin... Can you stop being a bitch? I don't think that's what, um... DC is getting that at the moment as well. I'm not understanding how to make the group dynamic work and how to build their uh, what is it, um, character universe properly, which is why Man of Steel was like mediocre at best, and why I got a slight feeling that uh, what is it, Batman versus Superman, the uh, what is it, 
the dumbest way to make a follow-up super, uh, dumbest naming convention to follow up a Superman movie might not work because of the fact that they're not understanding how to do this properly, how to do these um, superhero movies properly. One day they might, but not this one. I'm done doing rant on that. Let's let's puzzle a bit. Let's do some puzzles. Okay, there's some XP up there. I gotta move this across, come on, buddy. Push. You can tell these guys are not exactly the strongest, which is why the knights are. That's how you be pro ninja. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Balls. Alright. Damn it! Ow, 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 Yeah, I go back to save points so I can get my health up to at least half. Not die. Damn it! Oh, this has been cheap. Okay, hate, hate, hate so strong here. Let's see if I can take this with error. Probably not. Let's see the cheats method. Move over. I don't think. Ah, stuff it. I don't need XP all the time. Uh, that's right. Don't jump in those things. Run, 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 run. Now I've got to get to save point very quickly. Because everybody's close to death now. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, believer! Okay, if memory serves right, this next part is going to be very difficult. Let's do the cheats method. Alright, sh- Halfway point. Come back down. We'll pick that up. I just TP on to him and kill him. Balls, 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 balls. Not too bad. Bang. Uh, up, 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 up. He goes up, 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 up. He goes down, 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 down. Hell it. Oh, it's that however was not nailing it. Hatred. That damn, they're annoying. I hate those spiky things. Are really, really difficult to deal with. Okay, that's it. And I got my wizard back. I like wizard. Wizard's nice. Boop, dodge. Boop, boop, dodge, dodge. Boop, boop, dodge, dodge. Poor lever. Uh, hopefully it will end. And it's not going away anytime soon. So I'll just take the range out on you guys. Still alive. Doing science and I'm still alive. Leave me alone. 
Stop it. Do squares and stuff. How did that not grab us? No, no, because this could hit. Yes, wicked. Better, 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 better. Oh, do not want. Aha! Nailed it. Ow! Why did that break the boom boom kit? The simplest solution is always the most fun and your pawns. Done. Move. Ow! Oh, spiders! Spidey, spidey, spidey! Not like the big ones we have down here in Australia. Those ones are all fancy like mate. I wish they were Australian spiders. And Frez. Damn that spider! It could have made that jump. Now move it. Got to move it, move it. I got to not get hit by the fireballs. Fuck you, bitch. Eat, eat my friggin' arrows. Pull it. Oh. That. Cheeky, sneaky freaking spiders! I think there's a little special thing we do with this. Get up, up. Stay. Downstairs. Yeah, there's something I'm meant to do with this. Oh, I'm upset certain. Yes, that's right. Boom! Right through a wall. So I burned up here. And also. Okay, I want three points. Okay, can I up any of these other ones? Three boxes, two planks. Hmm. Okay, right. four boxes, one on. Apparently, I was just bugging out then. Cool. Chanted health crystal, what's that do? Put you on you. That's how you drop real fast. Hey, hold on. Need more HP. There we go. Money at the end. I might be done at the end. Let's finish up this level for the day. Work on some more later. Up. Balls, 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 out, let's stay. Exactly. Hey. You stop being a ponce. Sink and swim, sink and swim, sink and sink and sink and swim. There was something here. Oh, I'll stay corrected. Up again. Okay. Oh, that's right, that's there. The other thing. Is on the other side. So I need to do this. Here's the hell. Right. Stop swimming. 
Well that man. Get around that friggin' thing. Pick it up. Put it on that. Nice. This guy's a bit backwards. Up, oh, up. Oh. Dogs a spider. Hate spiders in this game. So annoying. And the other two platforms are up. Woo me! Do I get anything else over here? Nothing. Nothing at all. There probably is something down there. No, me, I've forgotten it. Done it. Dodge it. Nail it. Stab it. Must be nearing the end. It seems like in. Whoa! You only have the one of these guys just popping up somewhere. Let's see if I can be real cheap. Nailed it! <laughs> I remember that from before, I'm like. When I first took on the boss, I'm like, I wonder if we can stand at the top with the arch and just peg him. I actually got to give, give that a crack. Happy. Actually works. It's another one of them. Dab him. The flamey bits. Come on, boys. Oh, that's as cheeky. Wait! Wait! How the hell am I going up here again? I can't remember for the life of me. Alright. Come on. Come on, give me something interesting. Um. Shit. I don't know. I have to make something up as I go. This is going to take me a little while, people. Apologies. Can't think straight at the moment. <sighs> Shit. I wanted to go. There's something here I managed to peg off. Gotta be something. I think I need to move this down a bit lower. That's what my start is. That's how you do it. Alright, got it. Oh no. Damn it! Why do you all have to be against me? Okay, up. Gotcha. Alright, so that's the difficult part taken care of. I think I'm on to an easier path. Is there a checkpoint up there? There better be a friggin- Oh wait, never mind! Plot! King's banner. The symbol looks like the artifact we're looking for. What are these artifacts anyway? The second artifact, that of mind and power, had protected the castle and given strength to the king and his men. But the artifact was also protected by powerful charms. Only minds with pure thoughts could touch it. Over the decades, many kings and knights had tried to approach the artifact to no avail. 
The legend foretold that one day, a hero of pure mind and justified intent would come and claim the artifact. But as our heroes came through the castle door, they realized that the undead had seized everything in the castle. This once magnificent place had been transformed into a place of terror. Well, who'd have thunk if uh, the undead would over overrun the castle when, you know, undead's roaming everywhere. I hate to say hindsight is lacking in this game. It is lacking in these heroes, but then again, it'd be, be a bland game if they didn't know what was, if they knew what was actually going on everywhere. This doesn't look like the castle I've heard about. No. I can't believe this. They have ruined, ruined it all! We must hurry. So, for our intrepid heroes next time, they will be taking on the castle. Catch you then.